In this session, let us understand another option that is a dry run. So in Cucumber options, we are going to see the next option that is dry run. And it is case sensitive, so it has to be written in the same fashion as I'm writing, R should be in uppercase. Now it has got two values, true or false. Now when we say dry run is true, it's going to just dry run the feature files. It means it's not going to actually run any code, but it is just going to find out if there are any scenarios or any steps that does not have step definitions associated with them. Like in this case, for this eBay home, we have one scenario and three steps. And for all of them, we have step definitions associated. In this case, when we dry run this particular test runner, it's not going to run anything. The main use of this dry run is to find out if there is any scenario or a step that does not have any step definition. And what I mean to say by that is, let's do one thing. Let's create a scenario in eBay advanced search. Let's do this. Let's write a scenario and let's not write any step definition for that. So feature is eBay advanced search page scenario let's find out a scenario let's say user is on advanced search page and user clicks on ebay logo and user is taken back to the home page you know, let's say this is the scenario which you want to write over here so it will be ebay logo on advanced search and given would be i'm on ebay advanced search page when I click on eBay logo then I am navigated to eBay home page okay that's a simple scenario now we are not going to add step definitions but we are simply going to run this test runner again with dry runner Hey guys, if you like these videos, you may also like my fully fledged courses on Java, Selenium and Cucumber BDD. Links are given in the description, so do check out. That's true. So run as JUnit. So what it is going to do is, it's going to run both the feature files now. It will not run the scenarios which actually has step definitions associated to them but it'll just look for those scenarios which does not have step definitions and it will create the snippet step definition snippets for that okay so dry run as name indicates we are just running it to find out those steps those scenarios which does not have any step definitions associated to them and when we make it false it will actually run the scenarios which have step definitions associated with them. So when we run this as dry run as false, it will actually run the scenario from ebayhome.feature. So over here we'll see that see the scenario is getting executed. Now we can see these outputs. And of course we also will see the step definitions. That is the default thing that is done by Cucumber. But then you will say what is the use of this dry run option because anyways whenever we run the runner we always get the missing snippets but imagine a scenario where we have multiple feature files with hundreds of scenarios in them and we want to find out only those scenarios which does not have step definitions without actually executing all of them you know i do not want to execute hundreds of scenarios just to find out those steps which are missing step definitions right in that case this is very useful when we make it true it will skip through all those scenarios which are okay which has step definitions right so that is the importance of this dry run option over here if you have any questions let me know in the next session we'll understand another important option that is strict